Paying for college can be a daunting endeavor, but there is help out there for students and parents. Here to tell us more about ways to get financial aid for school is financial expert Elaine Rubin. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, this is one that a lot of parents lose sleep over. Mm -hmm. How do we pay for the kids to college? Yeah, so uh, this is something I had to figure out with my family. Through my college journey, I was a first generation college student, mm -hmm. so we had to go through the forms, figure out the timing, figure out the deadlines, and honestly, it just felt like I never quite knew if I was doing it correct. So this is kind of what I do now, is trying to help people find their path and their journey and find ways to help pay for it. And they're out there, you say? There are plenty of options out there. My very first tip is always to start a budget. So even if you don't have all the information yet, you may not have your college costs quite yet, this is a great time to start having conversations with anyone helping you in your college journey to figure out how much money you actually have to put towards your education yeah. and to look at your different options. So creating a budget will start creating that baseline. It'll help you later when you're actually going to school yeah. so that you don't over borrow and you aren't spending so much money that you run out of financial aid and other things that you already received. So it's always the great first step. Yeah, you don't want to come out of college already in major no. debt. No, you really don't. Yeah. <laughs> I've become more familiar with this uh, as my fourth kid is heading off to college, FAFSA. You know, filling that out is important. The FAFSA is the most important financial aid application out there. It's the free application for federal student aid, and that's the first application that you want to look into because that's federal grants, federal loans, and federal work study. So that is the most important application, but there could be a few more. You just want to double check your college's financial aid website to see if they require things like the CSS profile or if they require any additional applications for scholarship programs that they're aware of and they recommend you submitting the forms. For. And some people may think they are not eligible for certain financial aid, but you discover you might be. That is one of the top myths out there. Mm -hmm. People think my family makes too much money, I'm not gonna qualify for anything. Even though there are some federal programs that are need-based, there are a lot of programs out there that are not. The FAFSA actually is also an application for state and institutional grant and other types of funds, which might have different thresholds. And you know that FAFSA application can be one of those words that people kind of cringe at when yes. they hear it. So Advisors offers a FAFSA guide that we update every year that'll walk you through the process. Yeah, it's a little complicated and that, that's very helpful. And you do want to make sure that you know there are deadlines to some of these. So that is one of the biggest tricks and one of the biggest tips out there. Know your deadlines. FAFSA has state, school, and federal deadlines. The most important deadline will always be the one that comes first. And you don't want to submit late, especially for programs that could be first come, first serve. And that could be a lot of states have first come, first serve policies. So you want to track those and get those together to submit on time. Great information. Elaine, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.